Recently, I created a robotics class for the business education uh, curriculum, and typically robotics would fall under a multidisciplinary type of course where you have science, technology, engineering, and math, which is known as STEM. Uh, in this case, we wanted to take a programming-based focus uh, because it's supposed to lead the students into programming and AP programming. Um, so with that in mind, I designed the course around a textbook that uh, is called The Art of NXT Programming, and it goes through and explains a number of different things. Uh, in order to kind of supplement that textbook, uh, I created a number of different things. First of all, uh, I created what's called a project template, and a project template simply provides what the students will be working on, and in this case they had to make a wall hugging mouse and so they had to define the problem and they break it down into parts they'll write what's called their pseudocode which is a, is a uh, language similar to the program but is, is written in English and then they'll actually put their program uh, from their NXT programming software here and then they go through the remainder of the uh, decision making process or the scientific method uh, so it constantly is reinforcing this methodology of, of testing, reviewing, testing, reviewing and they have to make sure that they include their notations with this. Now in terms of a project itself it consists of a few things. They'll go through the textbook and they'll do a few small projects. The project at the end is a more comprehensive project which is, is designed to incorporate all the parts that they learn in the chapter so they'll get a grade on that project and the template that they provide and then they will also um, have a quiz associated with it that actually goes through and asks them some questions related to the text. So they're assessed in a few different ways. They're assessed on their individual uh, smaller programs. They get checked off on that as a completion grade. And then they will be assessed on their entire project, uh, which is a completion, uh, part completion, part uh, assessment grade. And then they will be, uh, they will take a quiz, which also is a uh, assessment style grade so it takes into account a number of different learning styles but at the same time it also incorporates a number of different things that they're learning in different ways so a student that maybe necessarily does uh, struggles with vocabulary terms will still uh, be able to do well with the uh, the student that struggles with vocabulary terms will still be able to do very well with the project if they understand the basics of what's going on. So it's a uh, multi-directional uh, approach to making sure the students understand the content.